Helen is here at hand, and the youth mistook by me, pleading for a lover's fee. Shall we their fond pageancy? Lord, what fools these mortals be! <laughs> Stand aside. The noise they make will cause Demetrius to awake. Then will two at once woo one. That must needs be sport alone, for these things do best please me that befall preposterously. <laughs> Why should you think that I should woo in scorn? Scorn and derision ever come in tears. Look, when I vow, I weep, and vow so born in the nativity, all truth appears. How can these things in me seem false to you, bearing the badge of faith to prove them true? You do advance your cunning more and more, when truth kills truth, O oh devilish holy fray! These vows are Hermia's. Will you give her oar? I had no judgment when to her I swore. Nor none in my mind now you give her oar. Demetrius loves her, and he loves not you. Oh, Helena. <laughs> Goddess, nymph, perfect, divine. To what, my love, shall I compare thine eyne? Crystal is muddy. Oh, how ripe and show thy lips those kissing cherries tempting grow. Oh, sprite! Oh, how I see you all are bent to sit against me for your merriment! If you were civil and knew courtesy, you would not do me thus much injury. Can you not hate me, as I know you do, but you must join in souls to mock me too? If you are men, as men you are in show, you would not use a gentle lady so, to vow and to swear and super praise my parts when I am sure you hate me with your heart. You both are rivals and love Hermia, and now both rivals to mock Helena. You are unkind, Demetrius. Be not so. For you love Hermia, this you know I know. And here, with all good will, with all my heart, in Hermia's love I yield you up my part, and yours of Helena to me bequeath, whom I do love and will do till my death. Never did mockers waste more idle breath. Lysander, keep thy Hermia, I will none. If e'er I loved her, all that love is gone. My heart to her but as guest-wise sojourned, and now to Helen it is home returned, there to remain. Helen, it is not so. Disparage not the faith thou dost not know, lest to thy peril thou abide, dear. Look where thy love comes. Yonder is thy dear. <laughs> Dark night that from the eye his function takes, the ear more quick of apprehension makes. Thou art not by mine eye, Lysander, found. Mine ear, I think it, brought me to thy sound. For why unkindly didst thou leave me so? Why should he stay whom love doth press to go? What love could press Lysander from my side? Lysander's love that would not let him bide. Fair Helena, who more him gilds the night than all you fiery O's and eyes of light. Why seek'st thou me? Could not this make thee know? The hate I bear thee made me leave thee so? You speak not as you think, it cannot be. No! She is one of this confederacy. Now I perceive I have joined all three to fashion this false sport in spite of me. Injurious Hermia, most ungrateful maid, have you conspired? Have you with these contrived to bait me with this foul derision? Is all the counsel that we two have shared, the sisters' vows, the hours that we have spent when we have chid the hasty-footed time for parting us, oh, is all forgot? All school days, friendship, childhood, innocence, and will you rent our ancient love asunder to join with men in scorning your poor friend? It is not friendly, tis not maidenly. Our sex as well as I may chide you for it, though I alone do feel the injury. I am amazed at your passionate words. I scorn you not. It seems that you scorn me. <laughs> as in scorn to follow me and praise my eyes and face and made your other love, Demetrius, who even but now did spurn me with his foot to call me goddess, nymph, divine and rare, precious celestial? Wherefore speaks he this to her he hates? And wherefore doth Lysander deny your love, so rich within his soul, and tender me, forsooth, affection, but by your setting on, by your consent? I understand not what you mean by this. I do, <laughs> persever, counterfeit sad looks, make mouths upon me when I turn my back. If you had any pity, grace, or manners, you would not make me such an argument. But fare ye well, tis partly mine own fault, which death or absence soon shall remedy. Stay, gentle Helena, hear my excuse, my love, my life, my soul, fair Helena. Oh, excellent! Sweet, do not scorn her so. <laughs> if she cannot treat, I can compel. Thou canst compel no more than she entreat. Thy threats have no more weight than her weak prayers. Helen, I love thee, by my life I do. I swear by that which I would lose for thee to prove him false that says I love thee not. I say I love thee more than he can do. If thou say so, withdraw and prove it too. Quick, come! Lysander, where two tens all day? Away with you! No, no. You see the great 
take on as you would follow, but yet come not. You are a tame man. Go. Hang off, thou cat! Thou bird! Vile thing let loose, or I will shake thee from me like a serpent! Why are you grown so rude? What change is this to be loved? Thy love! Ouch, tiny tartar! Ouch! Loathed medicine, hated potion, hence! Do you not jazz? Yes! Well, then so do you! Demetrius, I will keep my word with you. I would I had your bond, for I perceive a weak bond holds you. I'll not trust her word. What, should I hurt her, strike her, kill her dead? Although I hate her, I'll not harm her so. What? Can you do me greater harm than hate? Hate me, wherefore? Oh, me, what news, my love? Am not I Hermia? Are not you Lysander? I am as fair now as I was erewhile. Since night you loved me, yet since night you left me. Why then you left me? Oh, the gods forbid. In earnest, shall I say? I, by my life, I did. And never did desire to see thee more. <laughs> Therefore be out of hope, of question, of doubt. Be certain, nothing truer. Tis no just that I do hate thee and love Helena. <laughs> oh, me. You juggler. <laughs> you kinker bottom. <laughs> you heap of love. What, have you come by night and stolen my love's heart from him? Mine are quicker for a fray. My 